Hey guys, Ashish here from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about some WhatsApp tips you can use on both Android and iOS. I'm pretty sure you can use some of these tips to get the most out of the WhatsApp experience. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. One of the most important things to look out for in social media and messaging services is privacy. Now, back in time, there were no much options in WhatsApp to safeguard the privacy, but now you can control things like who can see your last seen status or your profile pic and your status message. To get things configured, open WhatsApp settings and there head over to accounts and then select the option privacy. Here you can hide the last seen timestamp, profile pic and status. You can select if everyone or just your contacts or if no one can see these stuffs. Additionally, you can also block contacts in here who you don't want to interact with. You can also disable the red receipts and that is a blue tick that tells a contact that you have read his or her messages. The next trick is useful for WhatsApp groups. So when you have sent a message and there are around dozens of members in the group, the blue tick doesn't tell you if the message was delivered or read. To get more insight on a message, long tap to highlight it and then press the info icon at the top. Here you can see as to how many contacts the message got delivered to and how many of them have read it. Pretty useful at times. For contacts and groups you frequently message to, you can create a shortcut on the home screen. The feature is only available on Android and to make the shortcut, open up your WhatsApp and long tap on the conversation you wish to create the shortcut for. On the pop-up menu, select the option Add Chat Shortcut and navigate back to the home screen. You will now see that the chat shortcut will be added onto your home screen and tapping on it will automatically open up the particular conversation. Now moving on to the fourth trick in the list. If you have changed your number and you wish to be included in all the groups you are a part of, there is a better way to get that done than asking the group admins. In the WhatsApp settings, navigate to the account option and select the option to change the number. You should have the new SIM activated on the phone before you proceed. Now on the change number screen, enter your old number along with the new number and tap on done. WhatsApp will now communicate with the server, send you OTP, verify your account and then automatically add you to all the existing groups with the new number. Pretty convenient trick when you are changing your number and you are subscribed to a lot of groups. Up in number 5 is the option to enable chat head for WhatsApp. This trick too is available only for Android and needs a third party app called Tasto. I'll be giving you the links in the video description and after you activate the app, the floating icon will help you with the notifications and you'll be able to read the messages for the incoming WhatsApp messages. However, in order to reply, you'll have to open up WhatsApp and this limitation is imposed by the app itself. But this is the closest you can get to the floating notifications. The sixth trick is the option to save data while making a WhatsApp call. And the option can be activated from the chats and call settings for both Android and iOS. Tried the feature for one minute of WhatsApp call. I saw that the data transmitted was just 90 KB while the data saving was on compared to the 150 KB without the option turned on. Now about the quality, I didn't get any lags and uh, any issues with the call quality and overall it's a nice feature for those on a limited data. Now we know that WhatsApp doesn't allow two apps to be installed on a single device and if you have a dual sim Android or you just need to use WhatsApp on a single device in case you carry two phones, there's a way out. Click on the video link you see on the top right hand side 
and it will open up the detailed guide on how you can use multiple WhatsApp on a single dual SIM Android device. A pretty useful trick, trust me. Now to save data even further while you are on cellular network, you can choose to deactivate auto media download. To configure the settings, navigate to the calls and chat setting in WhatsApp and choose the option of media auto download. Here you can configure what can be downloaded while you're on the data or the Wi-Fi and the roaming network. Backups of the chats can be very important and both Android and iOS gives the option of cloud backup. The backup option is located under the chat settings and while the iOS backups can only be taken on iCloud, Android gives the option to use local storage as well as Google Drive as the backup location. Finally, coming to the last trick in the back and that's to use WhatsApp web. While you're working on computer, you can use the browser to send or receive messages through WhatsApp. However, the point to note here is that the browser will only emulate the WhatsApp that's on the phone and at the end, the messages will be sent and received using the phone network itself. Now, to activate WhatsApp web, open WhatsApp web page on the browser and at the same time open the settings on your app. Finally, all you need to do is scan the QR code and once paired, you'll be able to use the WhatsApp on your browser. So guys, those were some of the WhatsApp tips to become a power user. And I'm sure you'll like the video. Don't forget to share this with your friends on Facebook and Twitter if you think it will help them. If you like the video, do let us know by giving us a thumbs up and the most important part, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe by pressing the red subscribe button. Have a great day and take care.